one of the last times I saw him, saw him, he was like, hey friend, he's like, we need to get a, we need, we should do another collaboration, you know? But we were both talking about our schedules and I knew Nick's schedule was just like, oh, it was all over the place like mine. So we're like, yeah, you know? But now that I'm, you know, working on this mural, it's like, I get that collaboration. Like this is a collaboration with Nick. So it's been, it's been pretty interesting. <laughs> Emotional. Um, everything. Nick Oza, a Pulitzer Prize winning photojournalist with the Arizona Republic, has died from injuries that he suffered in a car accident. Oza's passion was documenting humanity, and in particular, the lives of people whose stories were rarely told. We worked together on many, many assignments for probably, I think it was over 16 years. We traveled all over the United States, all over the border, all over Arizona all the way in the interior of Mexico, um, Guatemala. Uh, we had lots and lots of adventures together. He spoke the language of humanity. He could connect with people really, really well. They would see that he was interested in them, not as a subject, not as somebody to photograph, but as a human being. And he touched people really on a human level. And that's one of the reasons why he was such a great photographer. And he was a great photographer because he also had an incredible eye. Um, he was really kind of like a poet, the way he could see things. His worldview perspective allowed him to make those connections with the world around him. And I think too, just his passion to help others and to serve his community, I think really drove him to do the work that he did. I think that's what makes him special. I think that's why people kind of gravitate towards him because it makes you feel you're important, that he's taken the time to really kind of study you. And we all want to feel loved and valued. And Nick really, Nick really um, made you feel that way. You know, I'm a little nervous. I have a little bit of anxiety and I have a little bit of fear because I've never painted a male portrait. Um, let alone my friend, but my friend who's passed. And then I just started crying. You know, I broke down really hard because all these emotions just hit me at once. Nick was a very spiritual person and so was I. So I just tapped into that and I had the faith that I could do this. And I know Nick was is here with me now. So what we did in this mural is like on the left side, we kind of represented his um, culture you know, his background, his spirituality. And then on the right side, we in, we incorporated the, like the immigrant families that he's been documenting, like that those roots, like the Mexica Aztec uh, patterns. We have the border wall. And then this photo with these these um, people protesting, it was, an, it was inspired by an actual photo that Nick took. And he took it right here at the state fair. Nick's spirit is just a very, kind, genuine, sincere, compassionate, loving person. And he showed that same character in the photographs that he took. And you could just feel him. Um, I've not heard or seen him, but I feel like I could feel his presence. I don't think he's ever really gonna leave us. I think he knows we need him. And I'm just grateful wherever he is that he takes the time to think of us. My father, his work drove him away from home a lot. And so what he would always tell me before he would leave on his long work trips is, if you miss me, Chakla, look at the moon and know that I love you. And so every time I look at the moon, I am filled with this overwhelming feeling that he's watching over me and that he's watching over this community and that the impact that he's made is going to continue to live on in his legacy.